We'll start with the Mustard R30 uh, dry fly hook size 12. This is the classic Bradshaw's Fancy, the classic grayling fly. So we we'll start a little bit further back than the eye and we want to cover the whole hook shank with tying thread. Just to there. Get rid of that. Then we need some silk floss, bright red. So I just put four strands of this together and the best way to tie this in I find is that a couple of turns at the back to hold the tag in position and then we go up right to the front and we'll make a couple of turns and then back and we're in then peacock hill if you've got two uh, good thick fibrous quality strands of peacock curl it'll do for a size 12 so we'll just tie these in and then we'll wind in this peacock curl now we want plenty of room left for the hackle important and I think that will do us there I just tie those off like so get rid of them we we'll go back into there oops we need our done hackle well, this to be tied in tight into the peacock hurl body and we just pull the stem up keep it parallel to the hook shank and we go forward that's looking good then we can wrap our hackle needs to be a bit further back into the peacock curl, I don't like that. We'll just take that back there we are that's perfect tie down the stem again it's worth taking your time to get it right And then we can wind our ankle. Tie that off. Just hold it in position there. And then I'll just strip a few of those fibers so I get a nice clean finish on it and I'll whip finish one over like that remove the hackle and then I like to give it one under to hold the red floss up in the right attitude as it should be. There we go. Trim off your tying thread. Bring your flosses together. <laughs> Trim off 
trim that off there and trim that off there there we have it oh no we don't look at that two fibers not behaving get rid of them there we go Bradshaw's fancy one of the great little North Country grayling flies. Thanks for watching.